This is the solution video for uh, section 8.2, problem number three. All right, so it says sketch the region R bounded by the graphs of the equations and find the volume of the solid generated if R is revolved about the indicated axis. All right, so I have Y equals X squared minus 4X and Y equals zero. All right, so first of all, Y equals X squared minus 4X. What does that look like? Well, it is a parabola, right, facing upwards, okay? But if I set X squared minus 4X equal to zero and I factor out an X, I get X times X minus four. And so that means X equals zero and X equals four are the zeros, right? So what does that really mean? That means I have a parabola facing downward, or sorry, facing upwards with zeros at zero and four, right? So I have this, right? And so uh, that graph and Y equals zero, right? Create this region, right? And so now I want to revolve this region around the X axis. All right, so what are we going to use? Well, we're going to use a DX cut, right? And we realize that a DX is perpendicular to the axis of rotation, right? And so we're going to use the disk method, right? And so that means we're going to integrate, right? And we're going to take pi times the radius squared with respect to x, okay? And we're going to integrate from left to right. And so we're integrating from 0 to 4. All right, so we integrate from 0 to 4. Now, the radius, remember, is the height of the dx. So we take the upper boundary of the dx minus the lower boundary of the dx, which would be x squared minus 4x, right? So that's our setup. But now this one actually says to find the volume. So we actually have to carry this out. So I have pi times integral from 0 to 4 of, well, we distribute the negative and we get negative x squared plus 4x quantity squared with respect to x. So now we need to multiply that thing out in order to integrate. So I have pi times integral from 0 to 4 of, all right, x squared times itself is x to the fourth minus, now if I have negative x squared times positive 4x, I'm going to get two of those. So minus 8x cubed and then plus 16x squared and then all with respect to x. All right, so now we can integrate. All right, so pi times integral of x to the fourth is x to the fifth over 5 minus 8x to the fourth over 4, so 2x to the fourth plus 16x cubed over 3, and then we're going to evaluate from 0 to 4. All right, so now we want to plug that in. So I have got the pi in front, so pi multiplied by everything. All right, and so now I've got 4 to the fifth over 5 minus 2 times 4 to the fourth plus 16 times 4 cubed over 3, right? All of that minus 0 to the fifth over 5 minus 2 times 0 to the fourth plus 16 times 0 cubed over 3. So, of course, the whole second part is 0, right? So that's nice. All right. But now I have 4 to the fifth over 5. All right. So remember, 4 to the fifth power would mean 4 times 4, right? So 16 times another 4, which is 64, times another 4, which is 256, times another 4, which is 1. 1024 fifths, right? And then I've got the pi in front minus two times four to the fourth, right? So four to the fourth is 256, but then times two gives us 512, right? So 512 over one, really, right? And then I have plus 16 times four cubed, right? But four cubed, right? is 64 times another 16, that gives us 1,024 thirds, right? So now, yes, it's annoying, but it's still something that we can do, right? So we're going to multiply this by 3 over 3. We're going to multiply this by 15 over 15 and multiply this by 5 over 5 in order to get a common denominator. So 1,024 times 3 is 3,072 minus 512 times 5 is going to give us <clears throat> 2560 and then plus uh, 1024 times 5 and that's going to give us 5120 all of that over 15 and then we've got the pi so 3072 minus 2560 plus uh, 5120 <clears throat> gives us uh, five, six, three, two, fifteenths. All right. Um, which I believe is not correct. Um, so let's see. Oh, 
sorry, this was not 2560, right? This should have been 7680 because I didn't multiply the 512 by 15. All right, I apologize. So we've got 3072 um, minus the 7680 and then plus the 5120. And so I end up with this would be 512 15ths times pi. I apologize.